Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Basic Breakdown. I'm here in the filming studio at Massive Joe's headquarters with resident prince of pre-workouts, Vincenzo. What's going on? Vince, this product is right up your alley. It is. A high stim performance based complete pre-workout from a brand that has been around for quite some time but is mm -hmm. new to us here at Massive Joe's. It is. We've only had it for the last month or so. The brand is Man Sports. The product is game day. Vince, there's a lot to unpack here, man. Let's dive straight in and take a deep dive into what's inside Man Sports Game Day. So from the top, serving size, one scoop, mm. big, one big scoop, I should say, Massive. 17 grams. It's actually, we don't have, uh, I'm, I'm using Game Day at the moment. I, I, I went to grab a scoop the other day, it was gone. Yeah, yeah, was I, I, I bought it in for uh, for communal use here and then I took it back because I've, I've really been enjoying it. Uh, that's beside the point, but I wanted to, uh, if we had the top here, I could have shown yeah, the scoop. Yeah, uh, it's a big scoop. It's like a protein, well, almost a protein scoop, yeah. 17 grams, big. Big. 30 serves per tub, which mm. is good to see. Yep. So no calories, no carbs, no sugars. Mm -hmm. um, then we go into the actives. So mm. we have the nitric oxide vasodilator blend, mm -hmm. um, which is 8,000 milligrams with 6,000 milligrams of L-citrulline as your first ingredient. <sighs> good. Big dose. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much overdosed and delicious. Well, four, four, four grams is like is the perfect. clinical dose. Yeah. So six grams is, is massive. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, which is going to help with increasing nitric oxide, mm. um, getting better through blood flow, better muscle the, Well, L-citrulline is a precursor to arginine. Yep. Uh, more effective than taking arginine itself because it's much more bioavailable. Exactly. And it boosts yep. nitric oxide through the arginine pathway. Yeah, there we go. And then we go into agmatane sulfate mm. in the 1,000 milligram dose which is probably another beautiful, good it's dose. Big, it's, it's, it's too much. Too, too much. much, Vince. You reckon? Yeah, too much. No. Nah. There's, no, there's no such thing. Uh, well, there well, is. There is, yeah, because if you have too much agmatine, you're going to be shitting through the eye of a needle. You won't be working out, that's it. Yeah, you're going to be uh, working well, out in the bathroom. Working out, yeah. uh, no, it's a, it's, it's, it's a big dose, but a good dose of agmatine it's sulfate. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, agmatine prevents the breakdown of excess nitric oxide, yeah. particularly through the arginine pathway. So already, we're seeing some very impressive of synergism through just these two ingredients when it comes to boosting nitric oxide, which is going to help blood flow, nutrient delivery, and muscle pumps, of course. Yeah. Mm. Then we go into a gram of taurine as well, 1,000 milligrams of taurine. Yeah, taurine is going to, well, there's beta alanine in here as well, right? Taurine yeah. works quite well synergistically with beta alanine to boost muscular endurance. It I don't does. know why they put taurine under the nitric oxide Well, it helps group. with electrolyte balance and hydration. Um, yeah, that's and a regulation, good point. so osmosis and stuff with three cells. Yeah, okay. Um, so that could be why. So you, can put, you can put it in either. I always think of taurine as helping muscular endurance, but I guess that's just me. Yeah, yeah. so either or. Mm. Then we go into the Strength and Endurance Foundation Blend, mm -hmm. um, which is a total of 5,200 milligrams, starting off with a big dose of creatine hydrochloride such in your 2,000 milligram dose. Such a good dose. It's, yeah. The delicious dose. Yeah. They're off to a good start here. They are. They? Game day. Full Man dose. Sports. Yep. In there to help increase muscle power, essentially, yep. by increasing the senses of ATP. Yeah, and creatine so. HCL is my personal favorite form of creatine because it's more bioavailable. It's GI aligned with your digestive tract, which means you get more of it into the bloodstream and you don't have the side effects of water retention, puffiness, gastric upset, and all the other shit that you get with creatine monohydrate. Well, most of us get. I definitely get. I like it in here as well because it does keep the serving size. If you were to go full five grams of creatine monohydrate, you have to a 20 gram serving size. And, and so. let's not forget that monohydrate affects like the grittiness as well. Yeah, exactly. It puts a gritty, um, you know, a full clinical dose of monohydrate is five grams. It puts a gritty kind of mouthfeel in the product. Yeah. So I'm happy they've used HCL for multiple yeah. reasons. And that dose is delicious. Then we go into beta alanine in the 3,200 milligrams. Yep. It's another clinical dose in what we see in pre's. Mm -hmm. um, Precursor to carnosine, which is going to help reduce the kind of lactic acid buildup mm -hmm. and help reduce fatigue. Yeah, muscular endurance. Yeah. 101 right there, full clinical dose of beta alanine. Then we go into our mind muscle connection cocktail. Yep. In the 1,250 milligram dose, mm. starting off with choline by tartrate in mm. the 1,000 milligrams. This, you know, we're on such a good run. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get to the choline, and of all the forms of choline they could have chosen, they've chosen the worst. Yeah. Let's just call it for what it is. Uh, choline by tartrate is the least bioavailable form of choline, and that dose really is, it needs to be more. It needs to be at least 2,000 milligrams of by tartrate. At least. Yeah. So, uh, not great. Would have loved to see acetylcholine or GPC <sighs> or something. It would have been delicious. Fuck. Anyway, moving on. The Juniperus communis berry in mm -hmm. the 150 milligrams. Yep. Um, 
this is kind of an antioxidant in here. I don't know if there's any other kind of mental focus blends with it. I know it has a diuretic effect as well. Yeah, um, the, um, the real world effect uh, with the juniper berry, and you'd call it juniper or juniperus or call whatever it the fuck you want, it's juniper berry as far as I'm yeah. concerned, is that um, it does have a real world practical, I'm not even sure if there's theory to back this up, yeah. but real world practical effect of kind of boosting the mental focus effects of caffeine. Okay. So there when you, you take the juniper berry with the caffeine, and I've seen this in a bunch of pre-workouts in particular, yeah. it, it doesn't boost the stimulant effect of caffeine, but boosts like, you know when you have like a coffee, yeah. and you you know you feel like in the zone yeah you feel like yeah. focused and and just wired in it boosts that effect of caffeine okay the natural yeah. caffeine yeah in particular so that's that's what i think it's doing in here and I, and that dose definitely at the 150 milligrams um is is going to have that effect with uh, caffeine that we'll get go. to in a second there you go mm -hmm. then we go into some neurofactor for the last of this mind muscle Good. connection Good. In the 100 milligram, which is your full clinical dose of yep. neurofactor, mm -hmm. um, in there to increase brain derived neurotrophic factor, yep. your BDNF, which is going to help with memory, um, cognition, and stuff like that. Mm. Mm. Good, uh, but would have been much better with either a proper dose of choline biotartrate yeah. or alpha GPC, citicoline, or any other type of choline in a full clinical dose. Yeah. Then, Vince. Then we go into our blended natural caffeine blend of mm. 558 milligrams. Yep. Which comes from natural caffeine from green coffee bean, uh, which is 98%. So there's 358 milligrams of the coffee bean, yep. yielding 350 milligrams of caffeine. How, do you, how does this make you feel? It's a little, for me personally, it's a little bit strong. Yeah. Um, but I don't mind it. This tends to be where most pre-workouts are kind of heading now. The, listen, for me, my max out level in a, in a, in a, in a, a single dose of caffeine, generally speaking, is 300. Yeah. Like I, 300 is good. You go like 301 and I, it's just not good for me. Yeah. It makes me feel like jittery, anxious. It starts to have the negative effect of like making me feel like overstimulated and then I feel tired. Yeah. It's just not good. But that is caffeine anhydrous. Yeah. And we're not dealing with caffeine anhydrous we're not, here, Vince. No. We're dealing with natural caffeine. And the difference between a, a laboratory-made caffeine like a caffeine anhydrous uh -huh. and a natural caffeine is you get all of these other vitamins and minerals and shit that come from the coffee beans that effectively delay the stimulatory effect of caffeine. Yeah. Well, it's going to take longer to break down if you're breaking down yeah. the green coffee bean compared to just pure caffeine. 100%. You know, absorbed differently. So, you know, it's not like 350 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous. It's not. And I've taken a full serve of this game day, cautiously, mm -hmm. and it doesn't feel like other products I've taken, that is 350 milligrams caffeine anhydrous, which yeah. is too much for me. It's much more mellow, it's much more smooth, and it's just uh, quite a nice experience. I agree, yeah. Mm. Mm. And then finally, we go into L-theanine in the yep. 200 milligrams, uh, which is in there with the caffeine, kind of takes the edge off, mm. um, stops the jittery, and usually kind of stops drowsiness and stuff like that. Absolutely. All of those kind of negative effects that I spoke about when you have too much caffeine. Yeah. What do you think about this formula, Vince? I'm a big fan, to be honest. Me too. Um, I really like the pre-workout. Mm. It ticks, you know, it, it, it ticks all of the boxes that we look for in um, complete stimulant-based pre-workouts. It does, yeah. Muscle pumps, nutrient delivery, and boosting nitric oxide, yep. tick. Muscular endurance, tick. Yep. Muscle power, tick. Mental focus, not a big tick, but still gets a tick with the juniper berry and the yep. full clinical dose of neurofactor and the shitty choline, uh, <laughs> and gets a big tick for energy. Yep. So, you know, it, it across the board, it's a very comprehensive formula. It is, yeah. What are we talking? Uh, Flavors, price, availability. So three flavors. Comes mm. in the Sour Batch, which is my favorite. Yep. Comes in a Rainbow Sherbet and a Pink Lemonade. The Rainbow Sherbet is my favorite. There you go. And I haven't tried the Pink Lemonade, but I don't think I will. I don't really like lemonade. You're not a flavors. citrus guy. I'm not a citrus guy. Uh, price? Seventy nine ninety five for your thirty serves, which comes to two dollars sixty seven per serve. Which is considering it's thirty full serves, it's not like thirty scoops, two scoops per serve, fifteen full set like that bullshit that yeah. a lot of companies are doing. It's one scoop per serve, thirty full serves, seventy nine ninety five. It's exceptional value for money. Man. It really is, yeah, especially yeah. for a pre worker of this caliber. Well, especially for that formula. Yeah. Like you would expect that that would be a forty twenty mm -hmm. for seventy nine ninety five. Hundred percent. Yeah. So you're getting like thirty three percent more for the same price that you would normally expect to pay. It's exceptional value for money. Yeah. Availability? Available now, online. Right now. Vince, do you have anything else you'd like to add? That's it. Before I tell the viewers to hit 
the subscribe button. Subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on, your mobile, your cell phone, your desktop PC, your big screen TV, and whatever the fuck else you're watching this video on so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. Guys, that is basic breakdown on Man Sports Game Day. Until next time, where we come to and from, Vince. MassiveJoe's.com. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.